Okay, you should have a completely finished stocking now. It's plain, but it's finished, and you're ready to do some kind of design on here, like this. Um, I've offered you a couple of choices here for charts and things that you can embroider on the side of it. Really, any cross stitch pattern that you see online will work as well. And there are so many little free motif kind of patterns that you can see out there. I also think that this would be cool if I put the year right here which I haven't done on this, but I think I might do it. I think that's a pretty good idea. So I'm giving you this snowflake design and this Christmas tree design, but really the technique is the same for any design that you want to embroider on the knits on to the stockinette stitch. Now, when we embroider on stockinette stitch, we use what's called a duplicate stitch because it exactly matches the look of the knit stitch, kind of makes it look like it's knit in. And that's a technique I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to use this swatch, which amazingly matches my fingernail polish, and that was accidental. And you need a length of yarn in the color that you want to embroider, thread it onto your tapestry needle. We look at this, and we look at the knit stitch, we'll see that, or, or the stockinette stitch, we'll see that it's a series of V's, right? To do a stitch in this cream color, I'm going to put my tapestry needle in at the bottom of a V, pull it through, leave myself a little tail on the back so that I can weave that in later, and then put my needle through both legs above the stitch I just came in on. So I come in here, <clears throat> the bottom of this V, skip this V, and put your needle through both legs of the stitch above. Pull that through. And this is where you really want to watch tension because something too loose isn't going to look right and something too tight isn't going to look right. And I should tell you, I knit this swatch out of a chunky weight yarn and I'm using a worsted weight yarn for a duplicate stitch. So this is never going to look exactly right, but the technique is the same. Okay, so I've pulled, my, pulled it through both legs of the V above and I go back down into that same hole that I came in on. Okay, and I have a little V there. I'm going to keep traveling up. I come in at the bottom of a V, skip that V, grab both legs of the stitch above it, pull that through watching my tension, go back down into the same hole I came out of and tighten it up. Now I'm not sure what I have going on here. I actually think I might have come in too low on the first stitch. But that's easy enough to fix because that V didn't look perfect and they really should look perfect. That looks better. Okay. Now I'm going to travel a little bit here and do this one more time. Come in at the bottom of a V. And you can see on the back of the work here, I'm traveling a little bit. The fewer times you do that, the neater your, your work looks on the back, but the back of this is going to be on the inside of a stocking anyway. Skip that V, grab the two legs of the V above. Pull it through, watching your tension. Go back down into the same hole. Tighten that up, watching your tension, and there's a V. So that's the technique. That's the stitch that you're going to use to embroider the pattern into the work. Um, before you get started, though, of course, you will want to count a number of stitches down and make sure things are centered and see exactly where you want to place things. It's entirely up to you. You can fill the stocking with embroidery if you like. Um, but the technique is the same, and you want to make sure that you don't travel afloat too far on the back of the work. You want to make sure the back of the work is tidy enough so that things can actually be put into the stocking without snagging on the embroidery floats that you have in the back. Just break the yarn if you need to, tie a little knot, and start it up again in another place if it looks like you're traveling too far. That's it. That is how to do the duplicate stitch on the side of your stocking.